Guys, the fishing begins now. Yep, there he is. Oh yeah, for sure. Literally about to get another. Oh, oh, no, oh! He's, oh, look at these two! Oh my God! What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. I asked you guys a couple videos ago if you guys wanted to see a full on nighttime fishing adventure with Fish Guy Kyle and the comments were, oh my God, we absolutely need it. So tonight is that night. We just had a huge storm, but it seems as though it's passed. We're fully loaded down. We got a bucket because we got to go pick up some live bait because I wasn't able to catch some because of the storm. We got our rods, we got our cooler just in case we catch Big Bertha. We're heading down to the tackle shop right now, so I'll see you guys there. We just picked up the bait for the night. We got two dozen live shrimp and a dozen live pilchards. I mean, I cannot believe, I mean, look at these guys. Look at that. Perfect, perfect size shrimp and even better size pilchard for those big boys. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely candy for what we're going after tonight. To be honest, I can't believe I'm letting you guys in on some of my spots. I'm gonna be filming, so let's head to the boat catch some giants just picked up some mcdonald's to fuel up for the night we gotta wait till it gets dark and once it is we're gonna start fishing but you know what your boy got a nice big mac we got a coke we got a medium fry we got some barbecue sauce because guess what we gotta feel good because this could be a long night this could be a very long night but once it gets dark we're gonna start fishing guys the fishing begins now nice big sheep's head at the dock right now i'm gonna see if i can get him on a live shrimp come on jackamo Sometimes you gotta talk to yourself, get yourself hyped up. Come on, check them out. All right, let's grab a shrimp. Oh crap, are they dying, brother? Okay, give me this guy. Let's go see if he's on the piling over here. Fish guy Kyle's here, guys. Hi, fish guy Kyle. All right, here we go. We have a dead pilchard in there already, huh? He's over here, I'm telling you. I, I swear to God, I just saw him. I swear to God, he was right by the ladder. I'm gonna show fish guy Kyle right now that 2022 vision. If I had a feather crab, I'd be stoking right now. That's got shrimp. Oh crap. I think that was a big snapper. Um. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Or whatever. Cut me off and look. I think it might have been a big cuda. There was a big swirl right there. Wow. Huh. That was quick. And now it's raining. That's fantastic. All right. Well, while we wait for this rain to pass, we're going to fish in it and uh, we're going to see if we can drop another line over there because guess what? We got absolutely crushed instantly. I mean, it was pretty. Dang quick. All right, so we're underneath the ladder way over there. We want that big sheep's head. He was sitting right there, right when right when I first got here. I tried to catch a crab, and uh, by the time I almost caught one, I came back, he was gone. There we go, we're getting a bite, we're getting a bite. Yep, there he is. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, he grabbed me already. Kyle's got one, Kyle's got one. Come on, be the right kind. Be the right kind. Nice mangrove snapper. Oh my God, catfish, wow. That did look like a nice mangrove snapper. All right, here we go. We broke off on the other rod, let's grab the big rod let's not play any games here come on baby there we go there's a good bite got a bite oh geez lord have mercy kyle that was a good bite fish the baits there's fish over there there's definitely fish over there I got 30 pounds of this bad boy. oh yeah so do i that's what i'm working with i think i'm gonna hook mine in the uh yeah. in the tail yeah okay here we go ow stuck in the tree stuck in the tree this is explaining you, the day hold on, hold on, hold on. this is explaining the day this is definitely explaining it. I don't got you. This is I'm around the fig somehow. Oh my God. Get the camera on this. You're literally- Wow, if that's not our day right there. Oh, okay. There we go. That, okay, let's drop another one in here. We got bit pretty dang instant. Watch this. Flip it underneath that ladder. Well, that one kind of hit a little backboard action, but still gets it done. Still gets it done. Come on, baby. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jackamo. Come on. Here comes your Jack Kyle. Oh my, dude, took my hook again. There's gotta be a freaking giant down there. What is it? Oh, jeez. Jesus. What is it? Nice, man. Oh my God. A little short. A little short. Dude, that's a nice grover though. A little short. Nice Holy grover. cow. He ate, he ate it pretty good. Nice one, Kyle. That's a good one. This is fish guy Kyle trying to get a hook off. Let's Come on, fish guy Kyle. Dude, that might be 10 inches. That probably keeps, but we'll let him swim for sure. Don't get bit. Don't get bit. Look at those teeth in there. Oh, he wants you. Oh my God, Kyle, you're so getting bit. Oh my God, you barely have him. You barely got him. Come on. Oh, you got it, boy. There he goes, later. All right, no games are being played. We're going with Big Betsy. We're playing with Big Betsy. We're playing with fire now, come on. Come on, give me Big Bets. Yeah, I just got bit, I just got bit. Oh my God, right off, right off, right off. Give me another pilchard. What the heck is down there? Unidentified specimen, that's what we can call it. All right, come on, lock this monster down there. I'm telling you. 
Oh, mate, mate. Whatever it is, I got. Oh my god! He dropped it. He dropped it. Bait, though. Yeah, but I think I'm double backed. Dude, it ain't a, it ain't a cuda. It's not cut through. It's an unidentified specimen at the moment. Guys, we missed this fish. It's unidentified. We missed it about five times. Now we put on a circle hook. This way we can get it right in the corner of the mouth because each time we got cut off. Let's see if he's still here. Come on. Literally, Kyle and I each have missed it like twice. Got him. Got him. Cuda. 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 Specimen identified on the circle hook. Specimen identified on the circle hook. Get up here. Yeah. <laughs> Specimen has been identified. Well, now I know why we literally got cut off like 10 times because look at the teeth on this guy. Look at the teeth. I wonder how many hooks are literally this guy has, but as soon as I put that circle hook on there, we got him no problem. Check out how beautiful that is. Finally, we identified it. So tonight was not an absolute fail. Let's get this hook out now. All right, we got the hook out. Let's get this guy back in the water. Later, buddy. The specimen has been identified. All right, so just our luck. The whole state of Florida, barely any rain, but where we are, we got a nice nice storm and uh there's more following behind it so i guess we're gonna take these fish back to the house we'll feed them to uh the angler fish the sharks the peacocks we'll make a good video out of it in the eel spike it'll be good i'll see you guys at the house all right as you guys can see i ended up fishing a little bit longer at the dock than i thought i was because i thought i was just gonna go right home because it was raining but the rain ended up letting up a little bit but there are still too many storms around to go out and actually fish on the boat but we did catch that awesome barracuda but we're back at the house I have a bunch of fish inside here. We're gonna literally feed every single tank in here and then the one upstairs that has Spike, the Grouper, Bolt, and Simba. So let's get to feeding. You guys really love when I feed this aquarium, especially because of this big lionfish right here, the Panther Grouper and our yellow-headed moray eel who's hiding in the back there. But let's grab a nice frisky live pilchard and drop it inside here. All right, come here, boy. We're gonna see these guys. Hunt. You want this live pilchard there, buddy? Here you go. Watch this. Wait till he realizes that it's in the tank. He's gonna sense it and he's gonna come up and fire up and go and crush it. Oh, look who's coming out. The yellow-headed moray eel is coming out. Guys, look at the yellow-headed moray eel. I haven't seen him that color in a while. He's super bright right now. We got the pilchard right here. Oh, oh, look who sees him. Look who's, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, look at the eel. Look at the eel, look at the eel. Oh, he swung at him. He swung at him. He swung at him. He swung at him. Holy crap, he swung at him. The pilchard's freaking out. Oh my god, everything's swinging at him! Everything is swinging at him! This is it. Look at this guy. Guys, look at the yellow-headed moray eel. Look how bright he looks right now. I haven't seen him that bright, like I said, in a very, very long time, but Mr. Pilchard, I think it may have found a hiding spot, but let's see. There's our panther grouper way in the back there. I think the eel has it. I think the eel has it. Come on, move, move, big lionfish. Move, lionfish. This, there's some serious ruckus going on inside of the rocks right now. Serious ruckus, we can't see it. Serious ruckus and we cannot see it whatsoever. Oh yeah, he got it, he got it. It's all the way down, it's, all, it's literally already down, all the way. Wow, he just shredded that pilchard. That yellow-headed moray eel is a savage. I'm gonna drop this dead one in here for the lionfish because you know what, he really wanted that pilchard. It was just a little too quick for him. You want a free meal, buddy? There you go. I think he sees it. Come on, buddy, move in. Come on, go get, go get that pilchard. Are you serious? You don't want it because it's not alive, huh? Well, all right, fine, I'll give you a live shrimp then. I'll give you a live shrimp, we can play that game. We can play that game. You want a live shrimp? You want a live shrimp, buddy? There you go. There you go. You want that? Let's see. You really want something alive that bad that you won't eat the pilchard. Oh, no. Not, now you're scared. Now you're scared because the shrimp is on top of the pilchard. Really? Here we go. Here we go. He sees it. He sees it. He definitely... Oh, baby. Wow. Down the hatch. That was absolutely insane. I cannot wait for Simba to get as big as this lionfish. I mean, to give you representation, this thing is as big as my hand and definitely bigger because those fins sprawl out super wide, a lot wider than you can imagine. So the lionfish ate, the yellow-headed moriel ate, but our panther grouper does not seem to be very hungry right now. So we're gonna move on to the shark aquarium. Open up this lid, grab a nice live shrimp. Now you guys have never seen our angler fish eat before on this channel. We have our red angler and we have the world famous sponge, the yellow angler. I'm gonna grab a nice live shrimp and literally a shrimp this size is absolutely no match for sponge. You guys watch this. I hope he's gonna see it. There's really, it's really gonna have to line up absolutely perfectly. Oh my God. Come on, spongy. Come on, spongy. You want it? You want it, Spongy? Well, it looks like the shark's about to grab him. Looks like the shark's about to grab him. Come on, shark. Oh, 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 oh. He smells it. He smells it. He smells it. Wow. Huh. You don't want it. Wow. That's an interesting shark there, you guys. You know, nice live meal and the shark hesitates. 
Now one thing I do have to tell you guys is if you look in the tank, you have our golden Trevally right there and there were two in here. Believe it or not, I never thought this could have ever happen, but Sponge, the angular fish, ate the other Trevally. I am not kidding. I came in here the other night and there was a taco inside of Sponge's stomach and I was absolutely blown away because guess what? If you guys look super close, you guys will see that little dot on the top of Sponge's head. Well, he uses that to hunt. He'll kind of put it out and wiggle it around and Mr. Trevally came by and said, oh, that's a meal. But once he got close, Sponge sucked him down. I'm super disappointed, but we still have one inside this tank, which is still great. All right, I got half a shrimp here though, because I do want to feed these sharks. It is nighttime right now, which could have a little bit of the reason why the fish aren't eating, but that is why these sharks are so active right now. They're both out and about. We have one piece of shrimp right there on the ground and both of the sharks are cruising around. He's on the scent. He's just gotta find it. He's on, they're both on the scent. Look at this, they're both on the scent. Oh, the grouper just came out. Who's gonna find it though? Who's gonna be the lucky one and find it? Come on guys. They're freaking out. Look at it, he's coasting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This shark might find it. This shark might find it. They're really hunting. They're looking all over the tank to see if they can find it. There's the grouper. They're hunting all over. Shark's eyesight is very poor, but their scent is extremely well. That's why they're freaking out, looking everywhere and hoping they're gonna run into it. And then once they do, they're gonna suck it down. Take your bets right now. Which shark's gonna get it? The brown one or the gray one? Which one's gonna get it? I think it might be this guy. He seems, oh no, I don't know. I don't know, they're both freaking out. They're swimming up and down the glass instead of covering the sand. Oh, oh, you had a little bit of a good idea there, but you uh, you backed out. Come on, you're about to find it. You're literally about to find it. You, oh, he got it. Well, if you commented down below, I bet the brown one will get it. Then guess what? You guessed right. Congratulations, but look at that. He's got that thing already down. We have the other half of the shrimp in here as well, so we gotta feed this to the other shark right here. Drop that in. Let's see if you'll find that. Don, 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 don. Oh my God, this guy might get it again. Oh no, here we go, here we go. He's about to get another. He's literally about to get another. Oh, oh, no, oh, he got it. He got it, all right, good. They're both fed a nice chunk of shrimp for the night. And it looks like Sponge has a new buddy, Mr. Shrimp. So let's go ahead and move on to the next tank. Grab a nice shrimp like that, come up to the tank. These guys are a little fired up, here we go. Drop it in there, and he's going into the depths. That's a really risky place because the albino clown knife is back there, and I'm sure he's hungry. Well, you guys, honestly, these fish aren't trained like the ones upstairs. Spike, Zeus, Bolt, those guys are literally always ready to eat. You can always rely on them, so let's head upstairs and let's feed them. All right, now it's time for the real show. Simba, Spike, Bolt, I mean, you guys literally never get sick of seeing this tank eat, and neither do I, so let's go ahead and kick things off right here with a nice shrimp. Come here, buddy. You right here, sir are up to bat first. Bolt is literally right here. Drop it in, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Do, 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 Spike on it, of course. Spike always eats first, you know what? He's the oldest in the tank, he was the first one in here out of all these guys, I'm pretty sure. So you gotta pay respect to the others. Oh my God, Simba just stole it. Simba literally just stole it from him and he's clearing it. There's no way he, that's, gonna, that's gonna work for him. He's got the tail hanging out, now Bolt's gonna grab it. You guys watch this. Bolt is going to grab it. Oh my God, he's taking stuff out of Spike's mouth. Look at this. Wait till, oh, here we go. Bolt's gonna get this. Bolt's gonna get it. I'm telling you, Bolt's gonna grab it out of Simba's mouth. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Yep. He's got it. He's about to have it. He's about to have it. Oh, you better run. You better run, Simba. You better run. Look at Bolt. And here comes Spike. Wow, all right, so Simba stole it from Spike. Now, Bolt is about to steal it from Simba. Oh, he spit it out. He spit it out, and here comes the garbage man. Here comes the garbage man, head first. See you later, down like spaghetti. I will see, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe he's struggling. Oh my God, guys, I've only thrown one shrimp in here and they're going crazy. Oh, there it goes, it's gone. Down the garbage disposal by Bolt. What, you got something to say, Spike? Oh, you want some more? Okay, let me get you one. That looks like a good one there. We're gonna hand feed Spike right now. We are going to hand feed him, ready? Here we go, here we go. It's right here, it's right here. Do you want this? Do you want this? It's behind you. It's behind you. Come on, Spike. It's right. It's literally on your face. You can't see it. Can you not see it? I think he's a little confused that my hand is like this. He's waiting for me to drop it. So here you go, buddy. There you go. Smoked it instantly. Smoked it instantly. Guys, I can watch this tank eat all day long. I could make a five hour video of literally just feeding these guys shrimp because they're so entertaining. Oh, and it's going to sink. Uh, Spike, if that sinks to the ground, the garbage disposal is going to get it. And oh my God, they, oh, he stole it. He stole it. He's got it. Oh, oh, he's freaking going crazy. He's, oh, look at these two, oh my God. Okay, all right, looks like Spike wins. He gets half and uh, Bolt gets the other half, so they're both satisfied. They are both extremely satisfied, but Zeus, buddy, come on, man. You gotta get in here. This is a little bit of a smaller shrimp, so I think Simba could get this, and Zeus definitely could, I would think. Come on, buddy, 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? You have food on your head and you're still eating. Explain that to me, dude. Are you gonna share? Are you gonna share? Absolutely not, huh? Absolutely not. I'm trying to feed the other fish here and Spike will not let anybody else eat. Very rude of you, sir. Very, very rude. All right, I've got just a middle chunk there. Let's see if these guys want it. Come on. Somebody butt Spike, please. It's not fair if Spike eats everything. Okay, Simba. Okay, Simba, I see you. I see you, boy. Go down there and get it. Go down there and get it. Come on. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right, you want me to back up a little? Oh, oh, see, as soon as I back up, Zeus starts coming out. Zeus will start coming out if I back up. Man, Spike doesn't care if you're this close or if you're this close. He does like, not care whatsoever. We do need to top the tank off. We do need to get a better filter for this. I'm about to put that new filter on the 125 downstairs and get some new sand in that in my freshwater tank. And we're gonna stock it with some new fish as well. So that's coming extremely soon. These guys appear to be extremely full, except for Spike. Spike looks like he can eat all day. Oh, Simba, you wanna steal it from uh, the elders? I don't know if that's a good idea, buddy. You guys, I wanna apologize in advance. This was not how the video was supposed to go. I literally bought $50 just about worth of bait and I didn't wanna just throw it all out the window. I say, you know what, you guys enjoy me filming, feeding the tank, and you know what, I did get some fishing footage in there, but trust me, that nighttime video is coming extremely soon. I wanna film that literally this coming week, so get ready for that. I've got the shout outs of the day. I think this was a shorter video, but I did what I could do with the weather and everything, so my apologies that this is a shorter one, but shout out from the Instagram to Jeff Searless from the Discord, shout out to Fish Guy Steve, and from the YouTube, shout out to Tony Lynn. I love each and every single one of you guys. You all mean the world to me. I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.